Hey guys, a very happy new year to all of you. So under the cover is our new project bike. So let me show you guys what we have under the cover. It's a Suzuki Shaolin. It's actually a survivor bike, single owner. I didn't buy this, uh, but I have decided to help the owner with the restoration of this bike. So it's a very honest bike and it's a survivor like I said uh, the panels are original the silencer is original uh, almost everything on the bike is original uh, even the stickers are period correct so the plan is to do this time uh, pure stock restoration i'm not going to go bonkers on this like i have been on my previous shogun belts so this would not have a front disc setup this would have a, a drum setup it would be exactly like what um, is there on the bike as of now so that is the plan about the bike. Uh, this bike doesn't start and run properly. Um, the pilot circuit is choked. Otherwise, I would have tried making you guys hear the engine note. But let me see if I can make you guys hear the engine note. So, there is no battery. Like all of the other... Um, project so let me start the bike okay so the problem with the bike immediately that I could notice is uh, uh, it's not idling so that could be due to multiple reasons one of the reason is that the pilot circuit is blocked it starts on the choke and like you guys can see it is struggling let me put the bike on reserve pilot circuit is completely blocked so the plan with this bike like I said is a stock restoration we'll take the engine out uh, change all the bearings and change all the uh, oil seals then we'll change all the rubber bits uh, carburetor we'll open and clean the carburetor thoroughly uh, if we could get the uh, carburetor spares like the jets etc then probably we would install the new uh, carburetor um, you know components um, stand looks good so probably we'll just get this powder coated um, the mud guard is i mean chain guard is good the main stand is good uh, this we'll have to change and get new uh, footrest will retain, will change the rubber, will retain the um, crash guard, I uh, will get the front fork rebuilt and I will also uh, 
get those polished again I think that is a polished aluminium finish yes that is a polished aluminium finish so I'll get those polished again then front mudguard will get those plated we'll get the silencer plated get a new kicker uh, rear shocks will change because it's missing the top cup and that kind of looks awesome uh, we'll get the get new tail lights this grab handle will get that powder coated we'll get the sari guard powder coated we'll get all four indicators uh, we would need new sticker so we'll have to look in Bangalore I really like this sticker so we might have a new sticker made and then you know probably put that under the clear coat so that sticker most likely I'm getting that made okay so the battery is not there so I don't know whether the tachometer works but I'm hoping that it does uh, the front headlight is from a SD apart from the fact that it is really touching the meter it looks okay so probably we'll get this also powder coated we'll get the uh, headlight ring also powder coated uh, probably change the reflector let's see uh, we'll get these also powder coated and get the top plate powder coated so yeah and this would be a chassis of restoration so we'll get everything powder coated except for the swing arm we'll get the swing arm plain, painted because i don't want to go through the hassle of replacing those swing arm bushes get the rear mud guards uh, you know restored i don't think i will buy a new ones but let's see uh, we definitely need a reflector tail light we need uh, this kind of looks little different from what i'm used to i don't know what this is because i've never seen this maybe this was something which was part of a Shaolin, maybe we'll change the chain sprocket depending on the condition of the chain sprocket. Uh, these things, engine covers and all, we'll get this repainted in that uh, beautiful gunmetal color. Um, other than that, I think it's a reasonably decent bike. Um, so the owner actually drove this bike uh, till here there is a small dent here so when we repaint this we'll have to take care of it it's not done properly but uh, surprisingly the condition of the tank is awesome I've never seen a Trivandrum bike that looks this neat and tidy there is absolutely zero rust so yeah, so we'll probably keep the same tank. I'm also thinking of retaining the original lock because this lock doesn't have any play in it. It's all good. Um, we need new levers, we need new yokes, switches, obviously we need new. Um, other than that, I think this is going to be an easy one. So yeah, let's see how all this pans out. So get ready for another Suzuki restoration. The Shaolin. Uh, I have some very fond memories of this bike during my college days. So once the entire build is done, then probably I'll share a video on that as well so stay tuned new year new build it's all exciting thanks a lot for watching have a great night bye bye <laughs>